this whole situation is just unbelievable. Mm -hmm. A 12 year old girl throwing acid on another child. As you mentioned, it all happened here at Verner Elementary School. And what's worse, if it could get any worse, the mother and that beautiful little girl, Diera, who we spoke to say she was an innocent bystander. Diera Summers, wrapped in bandages, sits beside her mother, trying to recover physically and emotionally from an acid attack last Sunday. And the person accused of purposely causing those second degree burns? A 12 year old girl. How does a child even think to bring acid to a park? Dear's mother, Dominique Summers, tells Seven Action News the drama unfolded outside of Verner Elementary School. Dear was enjoying the playground with her siblings and cousins when the child threw acid on her daughter, allegedly responding to an altercation that happened the previous day between her and one of Dear's cousins. You don't know what you did there. I feel like it was the most evil thing you could do to a kid and especially the fact that she was a by innocent bystander. That child is now facing criminal charges out of the Wayne County Prosecutor's Office. Diera left with burns to her legs and back. Well, I hope she get what she deserved and they all get what they deserve. Summer's family now pulling together resources to help pay for medical and counseling bills with her grandfather hosting a fundraiser at his restaurant Roscoe's Beans and Greens on Woodward. My grandbaby I mean, how she gonna feel going back to school? How she gonna feel uh, going on a playground again? How she gonna adjust to third degree burns all over her body? And that's why I'm so happy that the family knows that they are putting her in counseling. Now, in addition to that fundraiser, they also have a GoFundMe page. So if you would like to donate, you can head to our website at WXYZ.com. But the question on many people's minds is how does a 12 year old girl know to bring acid to a park? Know what kind of acid is going to cause damage? A lot of people believe that adult was involved somewhere in this. That is what Dierra's mother is telling us. So she wants a full investigation and everyone who was involved in this to be held accountable. Live in Detroit, I'm Kiara Hay, Seven Action News. Such a heartbreaking story. Kiara, thank you so much for that report.